Hey everybody, I'm Olaf, and I love more cuts. Hi Olaf, what are you holding? Is that a baby? Isn't he the cutest? I found him over there by the unfrozen ice. It's cold water. <laughs> and I saw him, and the bastard picked him up. Isn't he the cutest? He's such a cutie pie, can I keep him? And I just love pie. Olaf, this is this baby Moses. God has a plan yeah. for him. And? Well, he's chosen him. Yeah? And? You better put him back. God, yeah. God has things he wants him to do. Okay. Yeah. Moses will have a lot of amazing adventures. Does he want to follow God's will? Does he want to go and leave? God has chosen him and great will be. Amazing sights he'll see and sometimes he'll get mad. Hang in there, Mo. Israelites are swelled and whiny, but they've had it rough. They need an inspiring guide. Does he want to follow God's will? That doesn't mean it will be easy. Okay, watch. Hi, kids. Tonight, we are going to talk about Moses when he was a baby, and then when he was a young man. Today's story comes from the Old Testament in Exodus chapter 1 and 2. Moses was born in Egypt a few generations after Joseph saved his whole family from starvation. Does everyone remember Joseph? God chose him to be part of his great plan. Joseph let his family come and live with him in Egypt. But things aren't so great for the Hebrew people right now. This Pharaoh doesn't remember Joseph and all the wonderful things he did during the years of famine. These Israelites outnumber us, and they're stronger than we are. If we don't make a plan, to stop them from growing, they could fight with, their, with our enemies and join them, and then later overrun us. We could quit making them be slaves. Nah. We could give them a goodie basket. I have a plan. Let's go bigger and meaner. <laughs> The Israelites are now being treated as slaves. But it gets even worse. Pharaoh makes a very wicked decision. He sends out an order that all Hebrew babies are to be murdered. Nurses, why are you not killing the baby boys? Well, it's like this. Those Hebrew women are really strong. They are. They're really, really strong. And they're having their babies so fast that by the time we get there, the babies are already born and their babies in their arms, a big happy smile. Makes sense. Really? You know what? I'm the king. And I make the rules. So here's the first. Kiss it. Keep it simple, sweet. I mean, how about we go bigger and badder? Here's a new rule. From this day forward, we will throw all the baby boys in the Nile River. <laughs> but I'm an old softy. Let the ladies live. Moses is born, and his mom knows he is very special. His parents are named Amram and Jochebed. Bet you don't have any friends at school with those kinds of names. 
No way were they going to throw their baby in the river. Jochebed makes a special crib. A waterproof crib.
<laughs> Tomorrow we will learn how God used Moses to rescue the children of Israel. Heads up! There will be frogs! So, from royal prince to shepherd, that's quite a change. But you know, like I said, Moses was chosen. He has a lot more adventures to come to. You know, I don't know why, but I always love the idea of sheep, shepherds, sheep herding. Really? I'm guessing you don't have much experience with sheep. Nope. But sometimes I like to close my eyes and just dream what it would be like when sheep really do come. Sheep or grand. Raising across the land, and Moses having a gorgeously tanned as shepherd. I finally see a flood of sheep, just softer than the north. I finally will have to let them live when it gets warm. Oh, the skies will be blue, and Moses will be there too. And I finally see what she people do as shepherds, as shepherds.